This is a clock with moving hands in Microsoft Access. You normally think of Access as an information management system, not a graphics program. But here, in Access, is a form with lines for hands that move, and optionally, you can also play sounds. You can download this free from msaccessgurus.com. Hi, this is Crystal. Here is the design view of the form. I've added green labels with control names. Hour, minute, and second are taken from the system time, which is read every second or so, and is controlled using a form timer event. The hands on the clock each use a line control. This enables them to be accurately positioned. Hour hand is shortest and thickest. Minute hand is thinner and longer. Second hand is colored red and also thinner and longer. To move a line, width, height, top, and left are specified. Line slant is for a line to be angled like a slash or a backslash. These calculations are done in code, which I will also show you. AM or PM is displayed using a command button. The caption and color is changed depending on the time. The clock itself is a photo of the wood for my keyboard shelf in a circle and then in an image control. Sound set ID specifies the sound to use or no sound as each second ticks. This form can also be used for other purposes, such as a pop-up time picker and a timer or a stopwatch. To keep this simple, however, I removed those other features. That is why controls are named as they are, and there are command buttons that do nothing. In the upper left is a transparent command button whose sole purpose is just to take the focus. If you want the ability to play sounds, you will also need a folder of sound files. By default, it is in the same location as your database. You can change the sound that's played each time a second ticks by. These are sounds I recorded, but you can swap them with your own sounds. If a sound has a number after it, that indicates the volume level. Knock 9 is really loud, so I won't pick it. As you change the sound, you hear what you just selected. When the second hand gets to the top of the clock, it starts again, and the minute is incremented by 1. As the seconds tick by, text boxes on the form are updated with hours, minutes, and seconds. You will also see an AM-PM indicator. Here is the clock in the morning. As the second reaches the top and the minute changes. We depend on clocks to help us schedule our lives. So many have moved to digital clocks. But let's not forget the value of time on analog clocks. Not only can you see the time, but you can also see the relative position in the day. Everything you need for the clock is in the code behind the form. That makes it easy to import this clock into another database. So how is this done? All the code is here, so you can examine it. There are lots of comments to help you. For a step through of the code, watch Clock VBA Code to Move Lines and Play Sounds in Microsoft Access. Thanks for joining me. Through sharing, we will all get better.